So today I'd like to run through our range of fire dampers. Starting with your spigoted fire damper. This would be a curtain damper via your fusible link as and when obviously the fire comes through, hits temperature, the curtain would close to eliminate the fire coming through. With this damper, you would naturally need to install an access door just to allow you to get to it for commissioning and for visual checks. All these doors would come with a sticker which you would put onto your spiral in the position needed to gain access to that link. Sticker off, cut the hole out and then you would release these handles, put that into that hole just to give you an idea of what you're sort of looking at on that. And then you would sandwich that down in between that airtight seal. I'll now demonstrate how the curtain closes. Obviously the curtain is always at the top of the damper. Your next damper would be the single leaf, which would be an external setting damper, more and more popular nowadays. Again, a fusible link would allow that damper to close as and when a fire. The unique part, I guess, on this fire damper would also be the fact that it can be a volume control damper as well. So you can set that by winding that fusible link in and out and set that where you'd like it to go. Not many people would actually know this, but you still need to fit your access door to this damper, although it's external setting, building regs like an access door, just so you can get a visual check through into the damper to make sure there's nothing ever gonna stop that from closing in the event of a fire. Hopefully that helps. However, if you or your team would like some further information on our damper range or some further training, please do visit Green Mill Design com to book your very own one-to-one -one session on our virtual training calendar otherwise if it's easier please do feel free to send me an email thanks for listening hope to hear from you soon